This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollamore. Well, for reasons unbeknownst to actual policy experts and public intellectuals, Ivanka Trump, the woman that Donald Trump would be having sex with, if only she weren't his daughter, sat down with Steve Hilton from Fox News for an interview. And it was during this interview, the entirety of which will be airing this Sunday, that she said, as maybe the world's most famous rich kid heiress, with a straight face, said that she doesn't think real Americans want to be given something and that they want to work for it. Who will see that offer from the Democrats, from the progressive Democrats, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. Here's the Green New Deal, here's a guarantee of a job. And think, yeah, that's what I want, that's simple. What do you say to those people? I don't think most Americans in their heart want to be given something. They're, I've spent a lot of time traveling around this country over the last four years. People want to work for what they get. So. <laughs> Did you, did you catch that hilariously hypocritical gold-plated trash pouring from her filthy trash hole? I don't think most Americans in their heart want to be given something. I've spent a lot of time traveling around this country over the last four years. People want to work for what they get. <laughs> get the f out of here, Ivanka. You silver spoon phony. First and foremost, Steve Hilton just asked about the Green New Deal and the guarantee of a job. And her response is that most Americans in their heart don't want to be given something. I guess that means even if that thing they're being given is a job. And secondly, is Ivanka so daft that she is unable to recognize the rank hypocrisy of her talking in virtuous yet whispery tones about people working for what they get? Has Ivanka and the rest of the nanometrically shallow gene-pooled Donald Trump family forgotten their story? Because I haven't. Like her daddy, Ivanka Trump was born high atop a giant pile of money. And because she has been up there so long, she's forgotten that she didn't climb up there herself. She was born up there. And because she is so tragically lacking in critical self-reflection, she thinks that she must just have far better eyesight than the rest of us, completely oblivious to the fact that her perch, way up there on the mountain of money, just gives her a better vantage point. But who can really blame Princess Blindspot? Being raised up and trained by a world record-setting liar your entire life it has to mess with the way you think about things. And to make it worse, when that liar is your pervy, doting father who tells insane lies about you and your accomplishments, it's got to make it worse. Let me give you an example. You see, while all of this was breaking about Ivanka's stupid comments, Trump was in the White House speaking to the nation's governor's 2019 White House business session, during which he told this whopper. Many of the governors here today have identified this as a very top priority. My daughter Ivanka, who is going to be speaking later, is uh, she has been so much involved, so incredibly involved. Where is Ivanka? Ivanka, keep keep going. Created my daughter's created millions of jobs. I don't know if anyone knows that, but she's created millions of jobs. I I don't know if anybody knows that, but she's created millions of jobs. That would be great, except for the fact that no, 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 she hasn't. Ivanka Trump has not created millions of jobs. Donald Trump hasn't created millions of jobs. The entire Trump family crime syndicate hasn't created millions of jobs. In fact, let's take a look at which companies in the United States have the most employees. According to Fortune Magazine's data from 2017, Walmart is the only employer that qualifies as having created millions, plural, of jobs, with 2.3 million. And number two on the list is the United States Postal Service, which 
is a way off, distant, fewer than 575,000 employees. But let's look at this another way. Let's do something rare for me and give this dipshit Donald the benefit of the doubt. Maybe, he meant, she's created millions of jobs when you take into account the sweatshop workers and other people who actually manufacture her cheap crap, but who are not actually technically her direct employees. Let's do a comparison. Let's look at Apple. Apple is a massive, massive company with a global footprint. On that fortune list of the United States' largest employers, Apple is ranked 43rd with 123,000 employees. Even if Apple were creating 15 times more tributary type jobs than their current number of employees, they still wouldn't be in the millions of jobs territory. Ugh, it's just gross. They're all just dirty liars. Anyway, since we are where we are and 2020 is ramping up, we need to remember moments like this and keep in mind just how out of touch with regular folks and reality, for that matter, these liars really are. We have a choice coming up of who we think best aligns with the objectives that we as a nation need to achieve. And while the Trumps are certainly not it, we shouldn't make that choice lightly and certainly shouldn't take on a anybody but Trump attitude. There will be plenty of time for comparisons, and I hope to start doing more of that right here on this channel and on my podcast. I hope that you'll join me in this important conversation going forward. Thanks a lot.